Hello everybody, welcome into the Hobby Bar, this is Jason, and welcome! Today, we'll be continuing work on this Air Sorceress. I'll want to pick out some more of the details, continue on layering on paints, and working on getting her towards completion here soon. Uh, maybe next week or the following week, hopefully. Then we can move on to another project. Anyway, to start off with this one, got in some cuttlefish colors. Uh, this week, I wanted to try out different paints, give different companies a shot. So, uh, this week I went, I got some of their paints in and wanted to give them a shot. So, first up is a color they call Yellowstone. Um, it's uh, basically a sandstone color, and I wanted to use it as a highlight on the hair to sort of bring the hair back a little bit more for the highlight color and get it going that way. Um, yeah, uh, overall pretty happy with how it works out on this mini for the myriad of colors that I end up putting on it for layering up paints. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. Um, but yeah, I'm just going around putting this paint on her hair and uh, layering it up, building up the highlights. Go ahead and get this done and move on to the next one. Alright, so to continue highlighting on the hair and the dress, I want to break out some Vallejo off-white color. Um, this is going to be sort of to highlight the dress, the blouse, and, well, I should just say her blouse and her hair. That's what it'll be for. Um, and yeah, we'll go ahead and get that going around. Not really much to say because I've been using Vallejo for a while, or Vallejo for a while, so yeah, we'll just catch up when we move on to the next color here. So now we're moving on to Cuttlefish Colors uh, Harlot Red, as they call it. Uh, it's sort of a purplish, reddish sort of tone. And I uh, wanted to go in and use this as a recess color, so a shadow color on the robe. So we go on all around, getting it down into the recesses and in some of the darker spots. I wanted to put this down before doing a wash on it as well, just to see how the uh, red wash will take to it, or how well it'll take the red wash over it, and give me hopefully a better color depth for the for the dress part of her. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It gives it sort of that dark, deep red, slightly purple tint, just so it looks shaded, but. It's a real nice color. Uh, anyway, we'll go around doing this on her little skirt part of the dress, whatever you want to call it, and we'll catch up with y'all for the next color.
Alright, now we're moving on to Cuttlefish Colors Crawdaddy Red, as they call it. It's a nice, solid, bright red color. Um, I believe the bright red for Citadel is Wasdaka? No. I think that's the dark one. I always confuse the two for the one that's almost corn red. And the one that's actually a brighter red tone for their other paints. Um, but yeah, this is a nice, solid, brighter red from them. Uh, gonna go ahead and put this on the raised areas and parts that should be highlighted. And we'll go around and do that for all the dress, all the raised portions of it. So, go ahead and layer it up. These paints appear to work really well as layering up. At least, the way I'm doing it. Just very basic standard layering up. Uh, they're just thin enough that you can apply multiple different layers and it works really well for going around. Uh, and it's no big deal. So, we'll go ahead and do that for the dress. And I'll catch up with y'all on the next color. But I believe we'll have an intermission before that. We'll just sort of take a look around the model real quick. Just to see how it's going. Before we move on to something else. Let's catch up with y'all in a bit. So, short little in intermission, just taking the spin of the model, wanting to see how it looks, what next to work on, uh, with the colors I have planned. And we're going to go ahead and try some of the red wash from uh, Cuttlefish Colors, or Cephalopod Studios. Um, so this wash, very, very happy with. Um, I was worried initially because... Uh, you can see on the camera, it looks pretty purple. Um, in like sunlight, it looks almost, si it looks extremely similar to the purple wash that they have as well. So I was slightly worried about that, but I contacted them just to make sure it wasn't an error. And they said, no, that's how it's supposed to be. When it dries, it'll, it'll dry properly and it'll look like, it'll shade it well. So I wanted to give it a shot here and Sure enough, it works well. It did its job. It shadowed up those areas perfectly fine for the red, and I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and go around, similar to what I did with the Harlot Red, just a little more targeted with where I'm applying it. So there'll still be some Harlot Red showing from underneath it, though it'll be hard to see. And uh, yeah, we'll just go around getting that done with the wash, so catch up with you all in a little bit when we move on to the next color. color I want to add on I want to finally hit this little lantern incense burner whatever you want to call it in front of her um, and instead of making it a silver and having the blue standing up off the silver like the air magic color that I'm doing for her, I wanted to try this copper out so busting out the army painter true copper and giving it a shot here on this model uh, Overall, pretty happy with how it goes on, and yeah, go ahead and get this little incense burner thing done up. Uh, hindsight, probably could get fancy and do some like effects with resin or something in the future when I decide to get into that stuff. With this mini coming out of the little canister there, sort of give it a wispiness. But I ain't that fancy, so it'll just be a basic little 
container here sitting on the ground in front of her. That we'll go ahead and cover this up in the copper and move on to a couple of other colors that we're gonna to apply to the mini. Could you put the all here in the pit? Alrighty, so the next color we're going to is another the cuttlefish color line. It is called Willow Wisp Blue. Um it's very similar to the, I want to say it's Goss or something. It's a layer paint from uh, Citadel in that it's a nice greenish blue. It's very similar to Gauss, Gauss Blaster Blue, though it's a little more on the blue side than Gauss Blaster, or Gauss Blaster Green, not Gauss Blaster Group Blue. If there were a bit more blue in Gauss Blaster Green, it would probably be very akin to this color. But I wanted to go around and quickly get that dotted in on the urn. And yeah. Then we'll go on to one final color here on the mini, just because I also want to try it out. And that one, right now, we're going on to Cuttlefish's Siren Green. So for this, I want to go on to some of the blue metallic areas because I figured this will be a nice, nice shadow color for the uh, Baharoth blue that I applied before on some of those areas. So I want to go around and apply it in those areas, but I also wasn't super happy with how the white looked on the tapper, so I figured we'd, uh, we'd make it, make the tapper design into sort of the colors of the wispy air stuff, her magic. Um, even though it's raised up off of it, we figure eh, it can just be the uh, color of the uh, design on it and it's just modeled on. Alrighty, last call everybody. Last call. So, hopefully focus is a bit better this time, but got, got some stuff done on her for layering up the paints and hopefully it'll uh It'll all be coming together here soon, with uh, getting the metallic bands, the blade, and uh, basing on her done at this rate. Because, uh, she's about as there is, I think I'll be able to get her otherwise. Um, wanted to try an alternate angle for the final wrap up. So, anyway, have a good one, everybody, and take care out there.